see. I guess I don't need the Tigris if I'm just going to be on a rampage. So let's, I'll just bring the Lanka along. Okay. Oh, right. That was the other thing I was going to do. I was going to take a look at my Loki, because I actually haven't looked at his mods in ages. So we've got Prime Flow, Prime Continuity. Yeah, so I guess really to get what I want, I'd have to up Narrow Minded and Prime continu Continuity. Actually, that wouldn't be so bad. I need some more... Um, Let's see, narrow minded. I need more endo. Actually, I have a decent amount of endo. Because obviously, like, this is going to be too much endo. Um. I mean, obviously, I've got the money. I just need the endo. Which I actually did get a fair amount. But was that from. Was that from my mods? That might have actually been from my mods and nothing else. See, I don't think I really need prime flow, especially with energy siphon. I'll consider it. For now, it doesn't really matter. Back to Mesa. I really like Mesa. I honestly was not a big fan or very interested in her. And then, I don't know, I just played it. Okay, so we need uh, Gav. Did you want to join us now? Oh, thank you, uh, Alphysia. Alphysia? Uh, for the sub. Oh, I see. Pyro's about to finish his. I see, so that's Gav there. Gav with the weird, freaky, the horror face. That's odd. Good to go for Rad, mainly for the ancient healers from what you experienced. Alright, I mean, works for me. I think uh, most enemies are weak to radiation anyway. I'm just afraid that I'm just going to uh, wreck uh, allies with radiation after that one daily. Which was really funny. I mean, let me tell you. Oh, shoot. I think there's actually a new Cyandana. With this new set too, so let's go. Let's take a look at that while we're just messing around. Okay, nope, that's attachments. I want Cyandanas. Yeah, this one. It's, a, it's like having a weird plague fish off your back. Very strange. I like Cyandanas, but they're also bulky. Like, at some point I should probably just uh, bite the bullet and pick up one of the uh, the smaller ones. I guess I like this one. This one's good. Let's just copy Warframe colors. Or are we doing stuff without Pyro? I'm very confused. Let's see, Wander, do I have any idea how long it would take to join you? I'm guessing a while. Um, okay, so we're just doing this one. So I will admit, I am not actually uh, built for cracking... I thought we were grabbing Pyro for this one. Um, so yeah, I'm not exactly built for... Uh, for cracking into any vaults or whatnot. So I'm just going to be shooting people. Oh. And that'll just have to be me. I might die. Who knows? I probably will die, actually. Oh, and Pyro's here. Good. Because, yeah, my, my goal is to just find enemies and shoot them over the course of this. Uh, let's see. Check your regulators. You should have the deluxe version. I do! I just, uh, I actually like the regular ones better. I think the reg regular, uh, regulators look so much cooler. The, the non-regulator, uh, bleh. The, uh, the deluxe ones just look a little odd. As far as I'm concerned. I can see people liking them, but I like really blocky guns. I don't really like the, the, like, swoopy swooshy. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. I might be in trouble. You know you know what I forgot? I totally forgot 
about freaking um uh bubbles. If this was a Grenier mission, I'd be in no trouble. But this is a Grenier mission. Well, whatever. I'll just kind of hang out, do dumb shit. Oh, you know what? Next time I run into a bubble, I know exactly what to do. I just have to switch to my operator. That gun does tons of damage. Hello. There's a guy hiding behind that box. I know it. There we go. <laughs> oh, jeez. These guys are actually worth, like, some, some serious juice. And buy Pyro again. You okay, dude? Let's see, but yeah. It'll take a while, honestly, to catch up to where I am. Th that said, I wouldn't mind doing it at some point. Maybe maybe I'll see um I'll like see if price is around or somebody else. And just um I might actually just see if I can do like a, a duo like not rush through the story kind of day. Um, but, you know, just kind of maybe, maybe, like, organize this with the, uh, with the people in Discord or whatever, but, uh, effectively carry a bunch of newbies through the story. Unfortunately, you're still gonna have to do a bunch of grinding. To actually, uh, to actually, like, effectively play at the upper end. Um... Just because you have to max out some weapons and some other things, but like... Uh, it would totally be doable for most people just kind of zip through the zip through the game with some help. I mean, that's that's certainly the position I was at. Ow. I really wish uh, operators were a little bit more durable. Oops. I mean, honestly, maybe I should just run around like this. My operator does so much more damage. Hello! I am Tano. We I don't know if I take falling damage. It'd be really nice actually if there was a if if like so originally when um Pain, Planes of Eidolon came out, I was actually under the assumption Oh that's that's sneaky sneaky business. I should not be I should not be wandering in there. Um But when Planes of Eidolon came out, they were talking about like uh Tano armor. And I was actually under the impression that Tenno armor would be, um... Uh, Tenno armor would actually, like, allow you to, uh, run around as your operator and not die. Sadly, not so. Which kind of sucks, actually, because I was, like, I was really hoping that I could just run around as my operator and have, like, at least 500 HP. Like, it'd be nice if you could get them kind of a basic equipment set and just kind of alternate between them. But I guess they're... They're afraid of making the operator too strong. Uh, because that, that would be, like, OP. Because, I mean, he already does, like... Butt, ton butt tons of damage. Corpus shotguns hurt? And, yeah, it would be unfair for unfair for uh, operators to just be able to like waltz around semi-invincible and uh, and able to just fight whatever what even oh the landmine thing there we go and out of here perfect that was actually a decent amount of exp uh, let's see so pyro have you done that before use up Umbra, so we have an extra AI. That is true. The one problem with um, Umbra, I don't know if they fixed it. Uh, let's see. I don't know if they fixed it, but uh, Umbra can just get like taken out and stuff, which is kind of unfortunate. Your connection does not like Shakira. Uh, do you want me to try and host? Here, um, why don't you guys all bop out of the... Uh, I'm going to leave squad. I'm going to invite you guys. I think that'll let me host. I think that'll work. I'm not actually sure. Let's see, what do we have? 
I've already mastered the Dragoon. I think I needed the Dragoon for something. Give me a second. I want to get something building if I can. Ah, right, the Czar. The Czar just requires the Dragoon. Perfect. Yeah, I need to make sure it's mastered. Okay, so what are we up uh, what are we up against this time? This is mobile defense. Oh, so honestly, I think I'm just probably going to keep to what I have. Okay. Mesa. I really, really love Super Giant's music. It's so chill. Like, you can just turn it on for, like, an hour and just, like, relax. Even the, like, more intense songs feel really good. I wonder if I have Bastion added to this list. I'll have to check that at some point. Let's see, they should add, uh, give your operator a secondary perk that has 50% effectiveness or something like that. I, the thing is, my operator actually does, like, a decent amount of damage from what I remember. Like, um, my operator, I think, does, like, 3,000, uh... 3,000 damage, like, that's that's nothing to sneeze at. I'm just gonna run for the objective. I don't actually have any functional guns here. <laughs> and I don't want to, like, stop and go with Mesa. Uh, uh, don't bubble me. I'm too young to bubble. There we go. Oh, that was boring. Ooh, put some, e uh, some energy. I mean, like a dat. I really like Mesa. I didn't think I'd like her. Like, I honestly thought she was kind of a boring frame at first, and then it's just like, wait, no, 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 no. Mesa's amazing. You just you just need to build for the regulators. Was she this good before they, uh... Was she this good before they, um... Before they, like, uh, changed how regulators work? Because I actually don't know. I mean, I'm assuming they pro uh, Mesa was probably pretty damn good back then, too. Only if you had the right secondary. Yeah, switching these up so they're, they're separate was a good idea. Now, honestly, my operator does tons of damage. Like, yeah, okay, not, not as much as, like, an Opticore. But, like, I, I can reasonably kill things in the upper register with my operator. I'm actually doing a, se a serious amount of damage to this energy leech. Not as much as if I just go full regulators on them, but whatever. Oh, I ran out of energy. That's what's going on. I was like, why am I trying to snipe something? The answer is... Duh. That hurts. Well, I'm useless for a sec- Oh god, I am going too far. Where am I? I'm over here. Okay, well this is fine. Get some energy back. Unfortunately, I need people to shoot me to get, uh, get enough energy to fire this off. There we go. Please have an energy orb for me. <laughs> oh, I'm so pathetic. Oh, dude, I want to do Huracan with this at some point. I know Huracan isn't nearly as cool as it used to be, but, like, God, there's some nutsy stuff that you could do on Huracan with, like, this level of damage output. Because I think Huracan's, like, one of the highest enemy densities uh, in the game, from what I know. Oh, are we working on a new die? It must be. We. Ow. There's that energy. There's that sweet energy business that I was looking for. Of course, I am dying a little bit. But that's okay. <laughs> wow. 
That wasn't even in my range. Boosh. That was nuts. And you guys have moved. I should be paying more attention. But I'm too busy just shooting everything. I guess the other thing I'd love to know the time frame on is the new nightmare mode. Is it? No, no. The new Dark Sector missions. Because I know there's like some uh, some really fun like uh, potential Dark Sector stuff that they've got kind of coming up. And like I'm personally kind of looking forward to more. Really, I just want like really high high density missions. Like, actually make it hard, but give me a ton of enemies to mow through. I'm just totally out of juice. There's some energy. Ah, oh, they are dead. Are you happy now? There we go. Ow. Oh, there was a laser. Laser fellow. Directly behind me. I'm going to pew pew at them with my really, really shitty bolto. Which I think I'm in the process of leveling. It's real bad. Alright, let's armor up first, then go on a shooting frenzy. They're all dead. <laughs> God, this is such a fun frame to use. Ah. Just gonna grab all of my gibbs. There were a lot of gibbs. Now we flee. <laughs> yeah, she's honestly I would say Mesa is probably one of the higher end frames, just in terms of like how much you have to jam in like in mod wise. Because not only do you need like a full complement of decent um decent mods for like Did Pyro get booted again? right at the last second. Oh, that sucks. I mean, he might still be able to beat it on his own? Oh, that's brutal. Yeah, host migration and extract. That's just awful. Um, But yeah, so you have to like fully kit out regulators and Mesa for it. Which like, I can't imagine that's cheap. I mean, it probably wasn't cheap for me, but I had already gotten all the mods, so it didn't even matter. Okay. Loki used to be a starter frame. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, let's see. Pyro, did you did you manage to uh, finish the mission or no? Because the last one should be at least faster, assuming that you managed to do it. Nope. That sucks. Do you want us to uh, wait for you or should we just go ahead? I mean, we should probably, yeah, just go ahead. Alright, assassination against this sucker. Hooray, it should be easy. I'm actually really curious what my regulator does against um, a boss. Anyway, Wander, what was your f your starting frame? I started with Excalibur. Um, I started with Excalibur the first time, and then the second time when I started this series, I started with Volt. So realistically, I started with Volt because... When I started with with uh, Excalibur, there wasn't really much of a prologue. There was the first mission where like Vor yells at you a bunch, and that was that was it. That was that was the extent of any and all story. It was not the most exciting um, introduction. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, to the game, but I mean, it was fun enough. It's just like the modern like kind of tutorial for Warframe, much smoother, much. Makes a lot more sense. Feels a lot better. Um, but no, Volt, Volt was absolutely the uh, first frame that I, like, really seriously used. Because it was the first Prime I ever had, uh, as well. Because uh, somebody just randomly was just like, Hey, you want Volt Prime? And I was like, Hell yeah! Um, and so they just... Uh,
they just uh, sent me every bit. I think it was actually like a collaborative thing between multiple fans at the time, now that I'm thinking about it. Because uh, I, I think collectively, like, three people had all the parts, and they're just like, yeah, here you go, Wander. I was like, yes, okay, so I, I, I made Volt first. Um, and uh, after that, I think my second Prime frame was actually... It was either a mix of... It was either Rhino Prime, because Batbeard just straight up gave me Rhino Prime. Um, which is actually why I even started bringing him on. I didn't know who he was to start with, and he's like, Yo, you want Rhino Prime? And I'm like, huh, this guy's another YouTuber. He actually seems pretty cool. And, uh, he was pretty cool. Unfortunately, he's got, like, mad health problems, so... It's kind of harder to, um, keep up with him. Which sucks. Uh, but he was fun regardless. Uh... Uh, what? Oh, boss fight time. Come on. You're not within shooting range. And I'm dead. Ah, oh, damn. That sucks. I'm just gonna respawn myself. Why can I not shoot you? Why is my Opticore not consider him an enemy? Or not my Opticore, what is... Okay, there consider considers him an enemy. He is dead. I, I guess you can only shoot him from like one angle? That's really confusing. Alright, he's dead again. Shield on before we revive, revive Shakira. There we go. He goes invulnerable. That's probably why. I hate that. I mean, on one hand, I totally understand why they go invulnerable because, like, for crying out loud, I'm a horror monster and do a ton of damage. He can't handle it. He cannot handle my Gibbs. This is a much cooler fight than the first time I ever fought him. I think this is actually the second time I've ever fought this guy before. And there he goes. <laughs> oh, he is one dead turkey. Damn, Mace is great. Maybe changed a year ago. Yeah, I've just never had a reason to fight him. What, um... What frame does, uh... Does he drop? Because I actually... I have no idea which one he drops. I'm coming, Gave. Oh, nope. Not coming, Gave. You're dead, Gave. Mag, maybe? Okay. I'd have to look at it. Oh, Nova. Yeah. Ever f oh, I wonder if Nova's one of the few frames I have never actually, um... I've never actually leveled. Might be. I, I know I've leveled up a Nova Prime. That one's easy. Because I still have her. And she's maxed, but... I don't actually know if I have a regular Nova. Nova is amazing. She's a fun frame. She's She's got some, like, really good, um... Perks for grinding and whatnot. Uh, Slova, especially. The Speedva is kind of fun if you're, uh... If you're trying to fight Infested and, uh... With, like, a melee weapon and trying to get them close to you. That always works really well. Alright, so what goodie did we get today? I got 6,000 Kuva. That's significantly less exciting than I was hoping for, but whatever. <sighs> Doesn't bug me too much. I guess I could go re-roll my Zaw, see if I can get some range on that thing. I'm trying to think of what else I need the Kuva for. Because most of my weapons are kind of like in ex or most of my Rivens are kind of in acceptable spots. Uh let's see. Let's check the market. Hopefully this guy doesn't just try and Oh wait no, not the market. Um 
I want to check equipment mods. There we go. Yeah, what ribbons do I have? I got the Amprex one, which is crit chance, mag magazine capacity, and damage, which I think is pretty good. I could be wrong about that one, but I think that's really good. The Atomos one is damage, status chance, multi-shot. It's worse against Corpus, but not by much. Um, I got a Dragon Nakano one, which I do need to re-roll. Uh, Archetitron Lockedex. It's the... What's the Archetitron? That's one of those, like, weird field-drawn guns, right? Or is that a melee weapon? I actually don't know which one's the Archetitron. Oh, melee hammer. Uh. Let's see. Yeah, I've got a Dragon Nakana one, but I don't actually have a Dragon Nakana. I got the Haruto one, which, humorously enough, it's got range. I should probably actually reroll that. More than anything else. I got the Soma one, which is kind of bad, too. Okay, no, I could actually use the Kuva. I've also got the Strad Stradivar, but I don't know if I care about that one too much. The May one, a Credo. Which, like, the only reason why I haven't gotten rid of uh, its current setup is because that, um... Crit damage, maybe. What's on the Atomos? Uh, damage, status chance, and multi-shot. Which I think is about as good as I, you can probably get. That's good for an Amprex. Yep. Oh yeah. No, I've got a pretty good setup on both. My, uh, my, like, chaining weapons are nuts. Not so much the other ones. Uh, what's the heck one? Status chance, cold, and electricity. Which is actually pretty good, but I gotta finish maxing it out. What do I want to re-roll? I don't know. I don't know. Well, what do we want to do next? I'll think on it. I'll think on those re-rolls. I guess, really, I need to keep... Uh, do we want to do Kuva Survival? Because I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind doing Kuva su Survival to, like, max out some of these. I probably only have like one more thing in me. I'll probably do uh I'll probably do more Warframe in a couple of days. It's just D and D days always like take it out of me and I'm kinda tired. And it seems like it's kind of a slow night. Let's see. There aren't any bad frames. I think the only like quote unquote bad frame that I, I would call a bad frame is um is purely uh Uh, I, I would say Mag might be kind of meh. I'll join you for the Kuva. Okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, Pyro might be best if I just catch you another night or something. If you want to reroute your router. Uh, let's see. So no Doom? Nah, Doom will be tomorrow. Yeah, not dealing with migrations. Figured as much. Alright, uh, Andrakax. If you are... I don't think you're on my friends list. You might be. I truly have no idea. My friends list gets kind of long. Oh. Uh oh. I should accept these. I'll see if I can invite you once I'm in the mission. Uh, is your... Is your name the same as, uh... Let's see, what's my in-game name? McKillington. M-C-K-I-L-L-I-N-G-T-O-N. Name that precedes my Twitch account, and unfortunately, oh, nope, we were just on pubs. Here, uh, Chikira Gav, let's quickly uh, abort mission, we'll grab the proper guy. Instead of, uh, instead of just getting a random rando. I forgot to put this on, uh, private. Sorry, random dude. Okay, let's get the appropriate people, so, Chikira, Gav, and last one is... Yeah, unfortunately, my experience with Mag was pretty limited. Um, I guess she might be better than I thought. I just, I remember her nerfs were, like, particularly punishing. 
Uh, you know, instead of the Lanka, let's let's focus on the other two guns. I'm just gonna grab my Astala for now. That way, I have a good uh, secondary if I need it. Okay, let's let's do proper Kuva survival. Teviuni, there we go. Oh, but yeah, so I picked up Mag Prime, I believe, directly before the major nerf for her. 